<clears throat> well, after the qualifying races and everything else done here at Daytona, it is time for the main event itself. 30 laps of distance here today in the Great American Race to start off season 36 of the Castrol GTX Cup Series. The Daytona 500 race number one of the season as the points paying season championship season season is about to get underway here <coughs> at the World Center of Speed, Daytona International Speedway. Is the place where it's all happening. And here's your starting lineup for the Daytona 500. On the pole in the number 42, Melly Yellow Pontiac, it's Kyle Matthews with a speed of 181 miles per hour. But if you mind, they'll be going way faster than that in the draft, obviously, here today. Alongside of Kyle is going to be car number 28, Keith Batson, the Texaco Haviland Ford, sits alongside. Row two, it's Quentin Moore looking for his first Daytona 500 win, the number 21, Sitgo Ford. He's alongside number 16, Ali Liara, in number 16, the Keystone Bear Ford. She won the Daytona 500 back when she was Johnny Gardner in season one. Row three has car 26, the Quaker State Ford of Tori Gossett. She's alongside car number four. It is Eric Monaco, the Kodak Film Chevrolet. Going to number four, it's car number two, Dylan Young, the more genuine draft Pontiac. He has one of our three in-car cameras in today's event. He's alongside number 98. It is the Molly Black Gold Chevrolet. It is Ryan it is Ryan Brommer behind the wheel of that machine. Going through row number five, it's car 33, Nathan Orman, the Skull Bandit Oldsmobile. He's flanked by car number six, the Valvoline Ford, driven by, excuse me, driven by Paul Minnick, making his return to the series this season. Going through row number six, it is car 71, Charles Sanford. At the wheel of the Big Apple Market Chevrolet in number 48, it is, it is Wes McCoy in the Rumpel Racing Pontiac. Next we're down is car number 94, the Sunoco Ultra Chevrolet of Dylan Pote, the uh, two-time 500 winner himself, and Lyle Austin, a rookie in car number 7, the Hooters Ford. <clears throat> Going to the next we're down is car 66, it is Rafael Aduca, two-time Daytona 500 champion. And beside him, number 10, it is, Alex, it is Andrew Miller, Sitting alongside in the Pure Later Chevrolet. Next around is number 52, the head of the NSTRA himself, Seth Cole, in the, in the Hurley Limo Ford. He's alongside number 12. It is Christian Bracken, uh, one of the rookies in the village season, in car 12, the Rebus's Chevrolet. Next around is number 75, the Raymock Oldsmobile of Laura Chung. And beside her will be car number 3, the Daytona 500 champion from last season, Cole Deaver, in the GM Goodrun Chevrolet. Next round is number 49. It is Tito McCoy in the wheel, the wheel of the Ameritron Chevrolet car 49. Beside him will be car 83, the Purex Ford, driven by John Andrews. Next round is number 90, Caleb Fogler in the split bar Spark Plugs Ford. And he's alongside number 1, Trent Dunham in the Skull Classic Oldsmobile. Next round is number 11, the, the five time series, the six time series champion, Jessica Shelton, the season 31 Daytona 500 champion. The Bowies are forward, car number 11. She's flanked by car number 30. It is Zachary Fitzwater in the Pennzoil Pontiac. Next around is number 17, Reggie Fogelman in the Western Auto Chevrolet. And number 8, Joshua Osborne in the Snickers Ford. Next around is number 22. It is Mitchell Hodak in the Maxwell House Ford. He's flanked by car number 5, Austin Reed in the Tide Chevrolet. <clears throat> Next around is number 25, Colin Cropley, the season 30. The season 34, Daytona 500 winner. He's flanked by number 18. It is Noah Sewell in the Interstate Battery Chevrolet. Next round is number fifth is number nine, Cody McGurk in the Milling Oil Milling Performance Ford. And number 43, Mike Becker in the STP Pontiac. Next round is number 15, Aubrey Scott in the Motorcraft Ford. And starting shot starting alongside is number 55. Alexander Rowe in the Jasper Engine Chevrolet. And starting shotgun is number 68. The runner-up for Rookie of the Year last season, Ben Cohen in the Country Time, in the Country Time Oldsmobile. And so that's your starting lineup for the Daytona 500. As we're about to get the command to fire the engines and send them on their way for 30 laps in the season 36 Daytona 500. Here's here's your command to fire them up. Command is beginning the party, party engines up and 37 cars roar to life as they, as, they, as they prepare for 200 mile an hour combat here at Daytona International Speedway 
As the base goes to build off a pit road for the pace up and back for the starter race, right after this. Field entering turn number three. You remember, you remember the, in the 125 qualifiers, it was 20 laps per race. But today, it's an extra 10 laps added 30 laps in the Daytona 500. At Daytona International Speedway to, to start off the season, to start off the season 36 road to the Castrol GTX Cup Series Championship. No chase, no playoffs. Never has been, never will be in this series. <clears throat> no matter what mod we meet, we use. If they come off turn number four, Kyle Matthews and Keith Batson will lead them to start finish line for the green flag. In car cameras will be carried by Dylan Young, Jessica Shelton, and Cole Beaver. Green flag flies and boogity, 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 let's go racing, boys and girls. <clears throat> you remember how fast these cars got up to speed in the 125 qualifiers here? 184 miles off turn number two goes the leader, Kyle Matthews. And they are fanning out. Look at them fan out. They're strewn all over the place on the back stretch here. And we saw some four wide racing going in turn number three in the 125 quarters. And, and, and when they do that, it never worked there. And they went four wide and it caused a certain wreck with these cars. Three wide is tricky enough, but four wide is a certain wreck here with and and these, and these machines, especially in CTS physics, as they come to start finish line. And Quentin Morley's the first time of the season in car 21. First lap for the leaders, held at 178.76 178 miles per hour, but don't get used to this pace. Off the second turn, Charles Sanford jumps out in front now in car 71 as they come on the back stretch now. Here comes Rafaela Duke in the 12 car of Christian Bracken to the low side now as they as Bracken will push LeDuc to the top spot in car 66 looking for his third Daytona 500 win. The only Canadian driver in the field this in the in the in the Castrol Cup series as he hails from the province of Quebec. And Tito McCoy in car 49 jumps out to the top spot or, jump, or trying to get, make his way to the top spot in the number 49 machine. And Laura Chung. Now goes to the top spot in car 75 from 19th starting position as they come off the second turn now. Jessica Shelton up to third position in car number 11 after starting 25th in this race. There she had a bat. She had a she had a a 125 to so forget pretty much. You know, in that number 11 machine. Now she gets moved up the track as does the 66 car of Leduc <clears throat> off the fourth turn now and up to the number five spot goes. Aubrey Scott in car number 15, and Colin Cropley inside the lane. The season 34 Daytona 500 winner up to the number up to the number two position. Now trying trying to go for number one. He's got Mike Becker in the 43. They're shoving him. That STP Pontiac. Now you see the margin from first to last uh, at 1.25 seconds. These cars run very, very close here. And now Mike Becker and the Richard Petty colors goes to the top spot now as he comes off turn number four now. And that's what it's like. To, that's what it's like when the cars go by at 194 miles an hour. Now off the fourth turn now. And they come across the finish line to complete the fourth lap in the average speed. 193.596 miles an hour after four laps of this race here. And right now, Noah Sewell has the fast lap race so far at 197.942 miles an hour, almost 198 miles an hour pace here at Daytona. And here comes Joshua Osborne. We talked about the 125. So there's one race he wants to win in the series. It's, it's definitely the 500. He's, he's a, he's a three-time series champion. But he's never won at Daytona. Not the 500 nor the 400 for that fact, neither. He has won Talladega before, but he's never won the fight. He's never won Daytona. And Trent Dunham dives inside. Is he going to leave that left over the ten car of Andrew Miller? Yes, he does. Barely. That was very close to the line. That, I mean, that would have been a finish of the race. I'd have lost it. That was awfully close to the line. That was 
thousandth of a second of the line here. Noah Sewell, we talked about him having the best of the race so far. He's now in running second position. And up the third goes Caleb Fogler in car number 90, the split bar spark plug Ford. New sponsorship for the season for that number 90 team. That car ran basically without a sponsorship last season. And Zachary Fitzwater making a return to that number 30 car this season, the Pennzoil Pony, which won in two races last season at Richmond and in, in the finale at Atlanta. And the guy behind him, that's a race he wants to forget for sure, Cole Deaver. Had the points lead all season long last season until the last race of the year at Atlanta when he, the last season, race of the season at Atlanta, when he got caught up in a crash in the last second that took him, that took him not only out of the race, but, but also cost him the title to Dylan Young last season. And Deaver still sting, and Deaver, you can bet, is still stinging from that. As he comes to the back stretch now, he's got Paul Minnick in the sixth car behind him, but here comes number 33, Nathan Ormond. The Skull Bandit Oldsmobile to the left side. He's got Dylan Poteet and Keith Batson behind him. The outside pulser for the 500 in that number 28 car. Mitchell Hodak and Jessica Shelton all behind him as well, too. The, the 22 and the 11 machines. And Cole Deaver leads his first lap of the race here. He's looking for his second straight Daytona 500 title. Raphael Duke's the only one that dri to, only driver to, win, to have won it two straight seasons. And Keith Batson now takes the lead in the Davey Allison cars at number 28. To come on the back stretch right now as they can, and, look at, and look at those cars. They're just fanning out here. Charles Sanford. Low side, he's got Tory Gossett, last season's Rookie of the Year in the 26 machine. Up there trying to push him to, to the top spot now. As they both blow by Jessica Shelton as they come off turn number four now. And Gossett up to the high side now, and that was a bit of a mistake right there on her part. And now Samper goes inside looking for the top spot. Batson leads that lap, but Samper now goes inside, tries to get, tries to take his position, tries to take a position from Batson, I should say, in car number 71. But now Gossett's hooked on the back bumper of Keith Batson's car, and now, in the meantime, um, well. Gossett apparently saw the number 22 in the three car. They're trying to make the third lane work right there. That was Mitchell Hodak and Cole Deaver. And now Ali Liara goes inside of the lane track in the number 16 car. And she's got Kyle Matthews behind her in the 42 machine. Matthews was the pole sitter for the 500. And now Ali Liara to the inside lane. Looking to make it three wide for the top spot. Did she lead that lap over Batson? I don't know. No, she did not. Batson had the top spot by just a by just a wink. At the start finish line here as they go into turn number one now, and they were and look at and look at this middle of the pack right there. This is an absolutely cra this is craziness here in the 500. About to work on the tenth lap of this race here as we have as we have ten down and twenty to go in this race as if, uh, this this time by. Liara out in front now, and he, she's got Alexander Rowe, who started this race in 37th, and oh, Aubrey Scott and Raffaella Duke, they're getting, a, oh, and the, the 15 and the 68 cars both got together right there, and I, and the, the, the Wait, the 15 and 68 cars both got together right there, and there's the 15 of Aubrey Scott. Take a look at what happened between those two cars. That's Aubrey, and Aubrey gets turned around by the 68 car, Ben Cohen. Aubrey didn't hit a darn thing, and neither did Cohen for that fact, too. And then Cohen... So no harm, no foul between the 1568 cars, but I bet you Aubrey and uh, Ben's going to have a little talk about that one right there in the garage area. And that's, and that's just knocked them both out of contention unless, contention unless a caution flight comes out. At this juncture of the event, Dylan Young led the last time by the number two car, defending series champion. And here comes John Andrews in the 83 car. We mentioned this is his first season, in the, his first, first Cup 9 season, Cup 9 season driving in the Cup Series. He has run this mod before in the Bush in the in the Millie series, which is my Xfinity series. 
No, no, they're going to be four wide right there. And, uh, they got down to three wide there, thankfully, right there. Laura Chung, um, that white number 75 car, she made, she thought better of it. She, she got out of that eye of the storm, as they call it right there. She's now at the fourth position for the time being. But take a look and see what, what is the 15 and 68 cars. The 68 car. There he is right there, 68 machine. And there is this 15 of Aubrey Scott. He is way up the pace at number 15, Motorcraft Ford. That whole deal just knocked them, knocked them, as I said, just knocked them both, no, it's not both cars right out of the contention. Unless, like I said, unless a yellow flag comes out here, the way they're going right now, I wouldn't be surprised if the yellow flag happens anytime soon at this point, because they are getting very rowdy at this point. But they have managed to hold it together without making it four wide at this point of the, at this point of the race here. It's now... Andrew Miller had to leave it. Here comes Joshua Osborne, and Osborne leads his first lap of the race here, the number eight machine. Joshua, if you remember, finished number three in the points last season with the Quaker State team. Last season, the driver the car that Tori Gossett's driving now. Osborne driving the car that, that Noah Sewell drove last season as a Buick. But, of course, Buick pulling out in 1990, after the end of the 91, obviously, there, this to be in the 1992 car set, so Buick. Teams uh, had teams went to either Ford or Chevrolet at that point of the season, whichever manufacturer that they liked. And the eight car and the twenty-six car in 1992 both went to Ford in the, that season. So Osborne um, gets dropped back right now, and here comes number five car that is Aubrey, that is Austin Reed, and he, ooh, did he lead that his first time of the season over um, Reggie Fogelman? Yes, he did. So move the number. Five car of Austin Reed to the top spot, but here they come to the low side. And Eric Monaco, the number four Kodak machine, storms to the lead off to number two now. Lyle Scott, or Lyle, Lyle Austin, excuse me, the number seven machine, low side here. And, and he and Zachary Fitzwater is going to make, both make a move to the inside of Jessica Shelton, the number 11. Jessica can't seem to get her possession, her some in the position to lead a lap. But she hopes to, and when it, when it all counts for the, when the check, when it comes for the checkered flag in the 500, there, as I mentioned, she's done it once before in season 31, when she finally won the 500, and Nathan Orman, he hopes to get his first 500 victory himself, and 33 Skull Bandit Machine, he went winless last season, he hopes to, he hopes to vindicate that this season, number 33 Skull Bandit Machine, the Harry Gant colors, and Caleb Fogler. Up to the number two position now, but here comes number 18, Noah Sewell. Nope, here comes uh, Charles Sanford, the 71 car. Makes a three wide three between him, Tito McCoy, and this four car of William Brock. Or it, it was William Brock last season. It's Eric Monaco driving it now this season. Monaco will tell you that's one of his favorite paint schemes as well, too. The number four Kodak machine. I saw that number four Kodak machine as his profile picture on YouTube, as a matter of fact. Eric Monaco's for that Eric car. Uh, profile picture, I should say, uh, on YouTube, and I thought, well, why not put him in that number four car next this coming season? And so that's what I did, pretty much. Orman led the last time by. Now Charles Sanford goes to the top spot. He's got the six car of Paul Minnick behind him. Deaver looked to the other side. No, nope, here comes Tori Gossett, car twenty six to the low side. And she's got Keith Batson and Kyle Matthews both behind, and also Cody McGurk. Another one of Quentin Moore's drivers in the field. Q-Man Motorsports has the 26 and the 9 cars both contending for the top 10. And also not far behind Cody McGurk, the boss man himself, Quentin Moore in a 21 car. And now Matthews dives inside of Batson. And there's Aubrey. And there's Aubrey Scott. He's coming off turn number two now in the field, thundering through one and two at this point of the season. Aubrey's the halfway down the back stretch. Eight out, so they may catch him before this race is over. And we're on lap 18 of 30 right now, so we're coming to 12 to go this time by. So I think they're going to catch him. I think they're going to catch Aubrey Scott before this race is over. And we saw, how, if you saw the ending of the 125 race number one, and it was a guy that we're looking at right now, Rafael Abut, that got screwed out of that, uh, out of the win in that race because of a lap car. And it happened to have been that 15 car for that back two that screwed him out of that finish as well, too. And, um, but that was how that first race of the 125s was inside of it was by a lap car, and Quentin Moore took advantage of that and won the race with, and won that event, 
I won the I won the first 125 qualifier. And Rafael hopes that does not happen to him again. Dylan Young second position now, and here they come and some and here they come getting a little bit rowdy again on the match stretch here as they go into turn three. Look at this three by three by three. I, I think it's about I think it's about I think it's three wide about eight, nine, ten rows deep here. All running right there together, and, and I hear a lap car up in the distance right there. They have they are they have caught Aubrey Scott, so they are they're about to ring to catch him right now. Ali Ray, Ali, Ali Liara up to the number one spot right now. We're coming to ten to go this time by. We're at eleven to go right now, and, and up to second position goes Lyle Austin in car number seven. Actually, Lyle Austin just now took the lead away. And they're hit, and they're now and they now caught that fifteen car. Now what's going to happen now? Lyle Austin's going to go to the high side now. He, he's going to take the top spot away. Or keep the top spot for the time being as they come out that fourth turn here. And now Aubrey Scott is now part of that of this, of this, of this group right now, but he's now a lap down. Ten laps to go in the Daytona 500 for season 36. Ryan Brommer, second position now. Andrew Miller up to the third position in car number 10. In the fourth now goes Tito McCoy. But here comes that season. Here comes the season's five. I was going to say season five and nine winner Dylan Posey. But here comes Trent Dunham in number one looking for his first Castrol GTX Series Daytona 500 win. He's got a 500 win in the Snickers Cup Series in the, in the CRA. That's one of Seth Cole's first in the CRA Cup Series. And here comes Colin Cropley, low side. He's got that. He's got the push down the low side. And and up behind him goes Joshua Osborne in car number eight, and he's going to push Cropley to the lead. And Ben Cohen is going on a back stretch right now. He's about he's about ready to go up in the turn three at this point. So they're about the, they're about the, at the 68 car that makes this as well too, as far as who, as far as another car about to, about to go a lap down. Osborne up to the top spot now, but Cropley got the high side to his advantage at this point here as they come up that fourth turn. And Osborne blocks Cropley's move here, but now Mitchell Hodak gets the inside lane and he leads his first lap of the race. They are averaging 194 and a half miles an hour after after 22 laps. Eight laps remaining in this 500. We're coming up on seven to go this time by. Fanning out again. Three, down the back stretch here. Blow the yellow line. There's no below the yellow line rule here. No, no. They're four wide to turn three. There's Seth Cole. Low side. They're going up the, as they come up to the third and fourth turns now. And they caught up to the 68 car of Ben Cohen in the, in the Country Time Machine. And that's going to let this 22 car of Mitchell Hodak pull away. But they'll catch up that 22 car in quick. And I thought they were, were going to stay four wide going to turn through three and four a lot. They may have given and, and try to give the 68 car a break right there and they're trying to keep him on the lead lap. But they made it down to three wide. But they're probably, they possibly may be learning. I'm not sure. As soon as I say that, don't, as soon as I say, well, don't say it. <laughs> but oh gosh, they're going to try it again with her. They go, they go to the turn right now, and, and Caleb Fogler sticks his nose to the low side. Yep, here we go, here we go, and not quite. Oh, and Dylan Young, he and, oh my gosh. Noah Sewell goes way down the low side. He's going to go back up the track right there, and he's going to nail Nathan Ormond. Sixty-six car of Rafael Duke upside down. Noah Sewell is involved. Charles Sanford was involved. John Andrews was involved. I think Kyle Matthews. Yeah, Matthews got nailed. Forty-two car. T 
Tina McCoy, 49 machine. He was involved. Andrew Miller. Christian Bracken was involved. They come to start finish line, and, and it's going to be Mike Becker. So start finish line with five laps remaining, and is this going to be? And I'm not sure that's going to. Uh, that, I don't know if that's going to be the last time we're racing. We may get a one lap shootout in the 500. We remember the last time that happened in the 500. Take a look against the what happened that caused the first caution flag of the day with, with six laps remaining, or seven laps remaining in this race here. Dylan Young got into Noah Sewell right there, come off the four turns. Sewell got close, yeah, scraped the wall, come off the four turn right there, and here he comes back up the track. Bam, right into Ormond, and everybody else gets involved right there. Quentin Moore, I think I got a piece of it right there. Dylan Young spins around, there it goes. Oh my gosh. And I think it was uh, Tito McCoy that flipped over Rafael Duke in the number 66 machine. And I don't know. Uh, Cole Deaver got some damage to that machine there. Nathan Orman was involved. I think Keith Batson. Joshua Osborne. This eight car got involved as well too. As he holds up the number nine car of Cody McGurk. And here's what happened to Dylan Young. Now, let's remember Dylan Young, he and Noah Sewell got together right there. He got up into Sewell's car that caused the wreck to happen. And this is what started the whole thing. Young got into Sewell right there and watched Dylan Young. He, he's going to quickly go back a bit up the track. And, well, he almost gets into Nathan Orman's car. He backs off, he backs off just in time right there to not get Norman. And then Orman taps Young around. And you see the whole Holocaust happen behind uh, Dylan Young. And there's where, as I mentioned, Tito McCoy flipped over uh, Rafael Duke's car. There's some damage to the Miller Genuine Draft Pontiac. And Quentin Moore's car slow on the track right there, so Dylan Young obviously out of the event. 98 car of Ryan Brommer. He also is out of the race there. Young's out of the race. So is Wes McCoy. So is Kyle Matthews. Tito McCoy. Colin Cropley. The header failure. Osborne Moore. Andrews and the 18 car of Noah Sewell out of the event here. And we are on lap 28. Will we get a restart here on, on the last lap? We'll find out in just a moment. Well, hang on to your hats, folks. We are going to get a one lap dash to the checkered flag in the Daytona 500. Are you going to are you do, are you kidding on this? So don't tune your sets, folks. We are in for a... We are done, so do, don't tune away, folks. We are in for a heck of a finish here. Mike Becker, who has not won a Daytona 500 in a long time. He's the leader of the event in number 43. Second is Jessica Shelton. She would love to get her second Daytona 500 win herself, as would Becker. We'd like to get a second 500 win. Austin Reed, he's never won a 500. He's in third position. Fourth is Paul Minnick. Fifth is... Fifth position is Reggie Fogelman. Seventh position... Or sixth position, is, sixth position is Caleb Fogler. Seventh, Lyle Austin matching his car numbers. Seth Cole's in eighth. Ninth is Mitchell Hodak. Zachary Fitzwater is in tenth position. Eleventh is Eric Monaco. Twelfth, Trent Dunham. Thirteenth, Tori Gossett. Fourteenth is Ali Liara. Fifteenth is Dylan Pote. Sixteenth is Keith Batson. Seventeenth, Cole Beaver. Nathan Orman. Eighteenth, nineteenth, Cody McGurk. And twentieth is Andrew Miller. As we're about to get the restart here, and Caleb Fogler, is he, is, he, is, he, is he about to have a problem on that number 90 car? He's on pit, he's, he's down the flat. Oh, Caleb Fogler's down on the flat. He may be coming down pit road, and it may be the end of the 500 for him right there. But the pace car's on pit road right now, and they come to get the green and white flags both. Can Mike Becker hold him off on the final lap? Here we go, the green and white flags are both out. Becker got this restart. He wanted Shelton trying to make, trying to stay right there with him in the second position as they go to turn number one. Off the second turn now, Paul Menick sticks the number six, 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 that number six Valvoline four to the low side now. Back stretch now. What are they gonna do? Back here, Menick, low side. Lyle Austin, the seven car. 
They lead him up in the turn number three now. It's gonna be Minnick or Shelton. Side by side as they come up the fourth turn now. Lyle Austin, is he gonna, is he gonna make a move on Minnick as they come up the, as they come up that fourth turn now? And Lawson goes to the low side, they're side by side to the line, it's gonna be Paul Minnick winning the Daytona 500 for season 36! Paul Minnick in the number 6 Valvoline for the Mark Martin Colors goes to Victory Lane in the Daytona 500 for season 36. Outdoing one of the best in Jessica Shelton. What a finish up. What a one lap duel that was for the 500 as well too. Lyle Austin comes on second position. I mean two hundredths of a second. That was a heartbreaker right at number 17. Shelton comes home in third position. Fourth will go to Mitchell Hodak. Fifth will go to Reggie Fogelman. Sixth to Seth Cole. Seventh to Eric Monaco. Eighth to Zachary Fitzwater. Ninth to Austin Reed. And Tori Gossett will finish in 10th position, averaging 162.626 miles an hour. And there's the margin, two one-hundredths of a second at the start-finish line. And the Daytona 500 starts the season off with a, with a bang for season 36, uh, for sure, right there. And look at the margin mar look at the margin between the top four cars less than a hundredth of a second. Among the top four cars with less than a tenth of less than a tenth of a second. There are eighty-nine thousandths of a second separated first through fourth. Boy, that was just tremendous racing here in the five hundred for sure. <coughs> um rest of the finishers here. Mike Becker's gonna come home in eleven position. Trent Dunham twelve. Thirteenth to Keith Batson, fourteenth LA Liara. 15th will go to Andrew Miller. 16th, Christian Bracken. 17th will go to Cole Deaver. 18th, to Dylan Poti. Cody McGirt, 19th. 20th position will, fin will be finished by uh, Alexander Rowe and Laura Chung. 21st, 22nd will go to Nathan Ormond. Charles Sanford, 23rd. And Caleb Fogler was the last car to finish on the lead lap in 24th position. You remember, he, got, he, dived down, he dove down pit road coming to the green and white flag restart. I mean, he, and he was running in sixth position when all that happened. Looked like he had a good run in the 500. Looked like he had a good run. Looked like he had a shot at that possibly maybe taking the 500 victory and it all went to shambles when he went down pit road. It's a, 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 a very inopportune time for that 90 car to have trouble. But that kind of shows you Caleb Fogler maybe a threat as the season goes along as we head into Rockingham, which is race number two on the season here. 25th position will go to Ben Cohen. 26th will go to Aubrey Scott. Raphael Aduke, even though he flipped, still managed to finish two laps down in 27th position. 27 cars finished the race, and 24 of them on the lead lap. Cars finished out of the race there. Ryan Bromer, Dylan Young, Wes McCoy, Kyle Matthews, Tito McCoy, Colin Cropley, Joshua Osborne, Quentin Moore, John Andrews, and Noah Sewell. All out of the race due to that crash we had. In, with about six laps remaining in the event. But Paul Manick, what a, what a comeback. Does not race for about a couple seasons here. And, and to go, goes back in at number six, Roush Racing Ford. And what does he do when the Daytona 500? Unbelievable comeback story. It is for him. And he takes it. And he takes the Valvoline Ford to victory lane here today in the Daytona 500 for season, to kick off season 36. If you like, if you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe. To the inner series for the gaming channel, we got everything on the channel. We got everything on the channel. We got inner races. We got gaming videos. We got inner online videos. Whatever the person of the inner series, Seth Cole desires to, desires to have for his channel, be sure to check out Seth's Door Cell Cup Series, the main series on his channel. And if you want in on future seasons of Seth's series, be sure to get with Seth and he'll get you going. And also be sure to check out our other two channels that does inner series. The other channel that does inner series offline. That channel being x 8 x is Dylan Young's channel. The man who does the inner series Spectrum Mobile Cup Series. And also, this is, so, and subscribe to his channel for some cool stuff, and also subscribe to the channel that he and Kyle Matthews collaborates together on, that channel being We The Coasters. If you are a roller coaster slash theme park slash amusement slash amusement park fan, then then We The Coasters is a channel for you. Subscribe to that channel for some cool stuff, and also subscribe to this channel you're watching right here, the end of the series Sports the Gaming channel for some, cool, for some cool stuff as well, too. So that would do it here today, and Season 36 is underway, and Paul Minnick, Strikes the first blow, winning the Daytona 500 for season season 36. And if you like, and also here winning the race by two hundredths of a second, averaging 162.626 miles an hour. 
For now, this is James Qualls. This has been a production of the NSJ celebrating 11 years of off-line racing. Best. We'll see you at Rockingham for the GM Gunwrench 400.